kitties and welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a todos. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the Kitty Gang. I am your girl, Ashley Alyssa. And today we're just going to be doing a little bit of, not a talk through, I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover on this look that I created. It's just a little spicy mommy hot tamale type of look. Um, I've been wanting to do a little bit of like a yellow eye with just a dramatic wing and just red lips. I just got my nails done and I went with red matte nails. So I got inspired with my nails and decided to create this look. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. And before we jump into the look, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated and I will see my kitties very soon. So here I am starting off with the Tarte Mattifying Primer all over. And then I'm following it with the Cover FX Peach Color Corrector under the eyes and the LA Girl Green Color Corrector for some of the redness. And the foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color 209, which is caramel beige. And I'm just using my green Eco Tools sponge, which I absolutely love. Then I'm going in with a Tarte concealer and actually picked up one that was way too light for me. It was actually given to me, but I actually have one that's a little darker. But to correct it, I just went in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the yellow concealer. How many times am I going to say concealer? <laughs> and just blending it in, as you can see, putting a little bit of that yellow really just helped correct the concealer color. And then I am going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder, which is one of my OGs. I absolutely love this setting powder. Then, as you can see, my Modern Renaissance uh, palette, and I'm going in with the color Golden Ochre, I believe is the color. And then I'm going in with the color Edge and New Wave. Those are the two colors that I use from the Subculture palette. And just blending everything in, adding some depth and definition to my brow bone area. And then I'm going in with a MAC pigment, which was supposed to be like a yellow chrome color, but it ended up being like a gold, but it's okay. I ended up working with it and it ended up coming out really well. So just blending everything out, just making sure everything's blended, but adding just a little more depth to that brow bone area. Now I'm just cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow with some translucent powder, followed by the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil in the number six. If you guys haven't tried this brow pencil, get into it. Cleaning my brows up with the Benefits Boing Concealer, followed with the Tarte Gel Liner. And I wish I could give you guys the name, but I can't because I think I lost it. So, so what a sad day. But anyways, as you guys can see, I'm going for a very dramatic winged liner. I absolutely love the finish that this gel liner gives. And the main focus of this look is basically a dramatic wing with a pop of color on the lid. The inner corner highlight that I'm using is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy collaboration. And I will actually be using this same highlight for the highlight on my face. And now I'm going in with the same colors that I used on my lid and brow bone area and just smudging that on the lash line, curling my lashes. And the lashes that I'll be using are the Ardell Double Up Double Wispies, just dusting off any translucent powder that may be left over. And now I'm going in with my Benefits Hula Bronzer. You guys already know, this is my all time favorite bronzer. So yeah, if you don't know, now you know. And just blending all that in, just warming up the face really nicely. Now I am contouring the nose area, still using the Hoola Bronzer. Next, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Blush and Plum Rose and also the Milani Coralina Baked Powdered Blush. I mix those two together. 
popping on the lashes and they were super comfortable to wear. Ardell is one of my favorite brands of lashes. Then I am just going to bake under the contour and blush area just to cut everything up and define it a little more. Followed by a Rimmel Nude Eyeliner to open up the eye area a bit much. Sometimes when you wear a thick liner like that, it tends to close out the eyes. So this really just helps open everything up. Followed with the mascara from L'Oreal Telescopic or Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. And using that on my bottom lash line along with the top. Then my EOS Chapstick. And the lip liner that I'm using is actually from Rimmel, and they are some of my favorite lip liners. And the color is Red Diva. If you are ever using a dark lip color or even a red, make sure that you line your lips with a lip liner first and then follow it with the lipstick. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Kitten Heels. And I absolutely love this formula because it just goes on so creamy, so smooth, smooth like butter. I absolutely love, love this color. And you can tell in that clip, just cleaning it up with some concealer so the red does not bleed throughout the day. And just adding the Amrezy highlight all over the face because you guys already know never enough highlight all right kitties so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see my kitties very very soon